Good afternoon, preppers. Welcome to Goshen Prepping. Of course, we like to talk about shortages and increase in prices so we can try to get the best, best bang for our buck in prepping. And one of those things is this drama of eggs. Holy cow. All right, so we used to pay $8 for 60 eggs at Walmart a couple years ago. And the last couple weeks, it was up to $21. And now it's dropped down to 20. So the egg prices have actually dropped a little bit. That's amazing. But don't hold your breath because from Newsweek, America's egg shortage is about to get a whole lot worse. Here we go again. Why? And of course, they continuously push this. The largest global bird flu outbreak in recorded history has combined with increased cost of fuel, feed and packaging, etc. And then it goes back to talking about, well, the bird flu again. This whole bird flu thing, I don't know about you, it sounds sketchy to me because I've actually talked to a lot of chicken farmers and they haven't seen any problems with this. What about you? What do you think? They say more than 58 million birds in 47 states. They talk about how the disruptions in the supply chain have also played a part in the national shortage. Talk about the high prices of eggs. And here's what it comes down to. The virus spreading among birds around the world is a new strain that is highly transmissible among animals and is incredibly deadly. So they've put lockdowns to avoid infection. Thousands were called. Of course, if we're talking about a new strain, a new strain of this, it's not going to be thousands, it's going to be millions. So prep what you can, stock up what you can, get as many eggs as you can and storm away, freeze them, uh, dehydrate them, freeze dry them, whatever you do, whatever you can do, because I think the prices of eggs are not only going to stay high, but get much higher with shortages in our future. Thanks for watching.